It's March, which means it's time for another episode of Nick Madness 2018 Character Edition. I'm Ashley. And I'm Casey. Last time, we talked about the round three results of our Nick Madness tournament, and we previewed the Elite Eight matchups that we just voted on. Oh, and it was such a beautiful time way back then when my hopes and dreams were yet to be shattered and ruined forever, so... It was a simpler <laughs> time, wasn't it? It was, uh... <laughs> You know, the good old days before uh, the world just caught up with us and now we feel lost and our heads are spinning and we're a little aimless, but uh, but we trudge on, right? We have these final four results now to talk about, which is really yeah. exciting. This week we're getting through our Elite Eight results. We have our final four preview, which is pretty crazy. We've got our prediction bracket update, which is... Uh, there's there's a very limited number of winners, you guys. We'll we'll get there when we get there, but uh, spoiler alert: none of them are me. Yeah, um. <laughs> everyone got destroyed, basically. <laughs> so it goes. So it goes. Yeah. All right, guys, follow us on Twitter for those sweet sweet Twitter polls at FNN underscore podcast and Facebook Facebook dot com slash FNN podcast. Check out our YouTube page and review us on Apple Podcasts so others can find the show. And thanks so much for tuning in, you hashtag Friday Night Nick Loons. Uh, Cam, never forget. Now, let's get started. From the Nick Loon Animation Studio in Hollywood. Hollywood, 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 Hollywood. All right, Ashley, where do we start here? And well, let me propose something first, right? We've been so interested in individual conferences. Why don't we just call it here and say these are our four winners? <laughs> and they're all winners and it's over. <laughs> no more stress, no more Nick Madness anxiety, no more stomach churning upsets because we sure have had a lot of them. Casey, as great as that initially sounds, I don't know if I'm cool calling Danny Phantom and Squidward overall winners. I just don't know if I, I don't know if I can sleep at night with that. Fair, fair enough. Yeah, so let's just break this down conference by conference, right? We don't even have game numbers to talk about anymore. We can just say game A, which was Azula versus Danny Phantom. <sighs> I really thought Azula was going to pull this one off. Hi. Uh, it's a rough day for me. Yeah, 52% Danny Phantom pulled off the win versus Azula's 48. That was honestly, like, and... You know, I, I tried to stay as optimistic as I could during our last recording, but deep down inside, I had a feeling I was like, this is probably my last chance of getting any points for the rest of the tournament, and I did not, so <laughs> so it goes. Yeah, that was a big blow. There are really three gi- or four giants of, Nick- of Nicktoons went down, right? And the first one is Azula. Uh, and even as devastated as we are about this, I think Azula is arguably the least famous character of the four that got eliminated. So that just tells you about how nuts this week was. Yeah, yeah. So it's rough to see her go down. Um, Only two people got that game right, by the way. If I had gotten it right, I would have been the only one. So we're, we're looking at tougher and tougher games. So many people just getting slashed out from this tournament. But there's not a whole lot to say on this one. Danny no. Phantom is... A uh, constantly underrated force in the Nicktoon world. And uh, yeah, he he pulled it off. He pulled it off. You know, it's I'm... my fault. I wanted to make this three-day Twitter polls, but because I'm leaving for Miami, we had to, you know, speed rush the recording. And uh, maybe, maybe it would have flipped on day three. Who knows? You know, it's possible, but we got a decent number of votes. I think yeah. like enough that I can say that's a representative enough voting sample there and... So it goes. I'm I'm willing to accept it. So uh, yeah, spoiler again. I got zero points <laughs> from here until the rest of forever. So rough rough way to go down. But um, I had I guess Helga I... winning this. Remember when Helga was still in the tournament? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Remember when five people picked her to win it all, and it wasn't crazy. But then she didn't even make the elite eight. Yeah, it, she's she went down hard. That's that's the kind of crazy stuff that happened in these tournaments. We uh. I said the the brackets are not predictive. Well, by clearly, any means. Butch Hartman and Danny Phantom fans hate women. I think that's the conclusion <laughs> from this. <laughs> Danny's knocked out Helga, uh, knocked out Azula. I'm obviously joking, uh, but I do raise an eyebrow 
not at the gender part of this, but of just Danny being that good, right? <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, we've admittedly never been ridiculously huge Danny Phantom fans. I, I think it's a fine show. I think it does a fine job, and um, yeah, it just it is it is what it is. I know that there's this strong Danny Phantom fan base, which is random to me, but so it is. Conference A, Danny Phantom's the winner, and he will be facing off against Conference B's winner. Do we want to hash that one out real quick? Let's do it. The mighty Patrick Starr has fallen, and it was close. I mean, all four of these games were close, uh, but it was decisive. Prince Zuko had 64% of the vote, and Patrick had 36% of the vote, so he did significantly better than Danny Phantom against a more well-known character, in my opinion. So... This bodes well for Zuko, in my opinion, but truly nothing we say matters, we have learned. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, this was the one, again, I I tried to come up with some kind of optimism as to how Patrick could win, but given Zuko's complete destruction of everyone, it was not by any means surprising to me that this went down how it did. Um, Prince Zuko is a great character, I think. And again, nothing we say matters anymore. I'd be really surprised if Danny Phantom is so popular that he's more popular than Prince Zuko. Um, I would too. I would be surprised. Yeah. It's funny because you go on those like Reddit threads about like who is the best television character of all time and you'll see Prince Zuko referenced. It's not about cartoon characters. It's about you'll see Walter White. You'll see Tony Soprano about Prince Zuko, you know. So the general television community obviously has a huge respect for this show and this character. And it seems like our fans do too because Zuko has had no problems winning Tournament B, which was a pretty solid corner. Now, here's something I will say. I'm going to move forward on this one. Moving on to Conference C, Aang won 68%, not 70%, ha, against SpongeBob's 32%. If we argue that SpongeBob is a more well-known character than Patrick, that would, again, this is just whatever, would say that Aang would then beat out Prince Zuko. I don't know that that's true, but... That's, yeah, if you give you SpongeBob could argue it, more right? weight and assuming the exact same people vote again, you know? Right. Which uh, is, it's not exactly what's going to happen, but right. I think that that's, if, if anyone's going to beat Zuko, I would say it's got to be Aang, and I think, I think he's got a shot at it. I think so, because too. Because, again, SpongeBob's Nobody a- has Aang predicted for the winner. Yeah, just to defend my, my prediction, you said not even close. You said no way is it going to even get close to 70%. And it sure did. I was wrong. I will admit that. But Aang, <laughs> Aang won handily, and that was my point. I almost said 65%, and now I really wish that I had. <laughs> yeah. Um... But still, we should break this down a little more. SpongeBob lost significantly before the final four. That's huge. Yeah, and again, I I felt pessimistic long ago um, about my SpongeBob moments. Again, this was especially after SpongeBob almost lost to Sokka. I thought he was going to be out even sooner in the tournament, so... Um, yeah... Is It is what it is, you know? Yeah, and we love Spongebob. You guys all know that. But as a character, I, it's just hard to compare the complexities of these two. And had we left out Avatar, I think this tournament would have been a lot more boring. You know, for shows it made sense. But for this tournament, it was, I think, a good call on our end to include them. It made things pretty fascinating. Yeah, it, it definitely was. And, I mean, I think... I think at the end of the day, and this is why it's, well, I'll backtrack, but uh, Spongebob and Patrick, they're, they're goofy little, um, goofy little characters, right? They're comedy, they're not deep characters, right? So you love them because you love the show, right? Whereas I think you love the show of Avatar because you love the characters. Yeah. If that makes sense. But then we go back to Danny Phantom, and I can't, <laughs> I can't rationalize it. He's, yeah, what on earth? He's not that deep of a character, right? I mean, deeper, admittedly, as a storyline than SpongeBob, right? Oh, of course, yeah. And but he is interesting. Don't get me wrong. Danny's life is fascinating, and 
the writing and voice acting is great for that character, but I really thought Azula would pull this one off. But apparently yeah. I was the only one who thought that. Because I was the... No, you were the only one who thought that. Right, I got That Azula... <laughs> yep. I'm the only one that had Azula winning that game. Which, to be fair, most people didn't think that either of those two were going to win. Yeah, TBT so it wasn't... to Tommy Pickles. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. Um, But... So it goes, and yeah, so Aang, again, it's hard to say for sure, but if we call these previous polls predicted, Aang very well could be the champion, which would mean that zero people would get it right. That would be awesome. Which would be, like, just great. It it wouldn't affect the uh, the winner, because pretty much anybody, anybody who has a chance of winning anymore had to have Zuko winning, right? Yeah. I think if we look at the logs. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter who wins. You just had to have Zuko in that uh in that upcoming game. So Yes. Which well, actually if if Zuko doesn't win against Danny Phantom, that will be an entirely wrong game as well. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And I forget Zero, have we had yeah. an entirely wrong game yet? Um, I don't think so. I'm going to open up all the... I don't... I don't think yet. There's been some close ones. Wouldn't have been hilarious if for some reason everyone just had, like, Mr. Blick over Arnold or something in round one. If only. Yeah, no, the closest was this... That last one. This game where we might as well discuss now. A nice unplanned segue. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, this is the only game that only one person got right. Yes? Yes. Thus far, yes. Yeah. Well, and actually, forever. And forever, yeah. <laughs> um, and so this was... So, Ray, here's what I want you to do. Well done on your prediction. I want you to text me your reasoning, because why on earth did you pick Squidward? He won, so clearly you knew something we didn't. But how on earth did that happen? Is it just how popular SpongeBob is? But then... You had Patrick going down, maybe because you just thought Prince Zuko was so such a force. Uh, but then you had SpongeBob winning, of course. Okay. And maybe it's you saw the temptation of SpongeBob versus Squidward and thought that would be fun. I don't know. But well done. You're the only one who predicted game D correctly, in which Squidward got 54% over Timmy Turner. Did Squidward ever have a major victory? Um... You know, I don't think so, but truthfully, stunned that Squidward makes it to Final Four. Yeah, what Um, on earth? You look at these 16 in the bottom right-hand corner in Conference D, would you ever, Ashley, have thought that Squidward would win this this side? No, absolutely not. Like, (laughs) never at any point have I thought that that was actually a reasonable option. I forget, too. I know I picked one and you picked the other at the end of... Yeah, our last week's, and I can't even remember which one we picked, because it didn't matter. I was like, so that one of us is right, and we can feel good about it. I don't even remember which one I picked, truthfully. Right. But deep down inside, I was like, Squidward's not gonna win this. Like, why? He's a grumpy character. He's not, like, a very interesting character. And Timmy Turner is also awful in, yeah. like, his own ways, right? But he's well, a main, main character, and I... Man. Just okay, man. I'm looking at it now and it's starting to make more sense because I'm looking at the matchups and it's like, wait a minute, I voted for Squidward every time, which is true. <laughs> but here's what happened, right? The big guns had to go down. So Squidward just had the easiest path. He, yeah. He he's did. up against Heifer. He did crush Heifer. I remember that. He's up against Zim, which was a little closer. Uh, I voted for Squidward there. Uh, then he's up against Cosmo because Arnold went down. Which was baffling. I don't think he would have beaten Arnold. But he beat Cosmo who beat Arnold, so who knows? Yeah. But then, Um, after that, Korra and Jimmy had gone down in previous rounds, so he faced Timmy Turner, who even though Timmy was a two-seed, I think Korra and Jimmy would have given Squidward a harder time. Yeah, it's hard to say. I, I still can't get over that Jimmy loss so early in. I... God, guys, this this game was a mess, and Conference D, we've been saying for a long time, was just the, the absolute crapshoot of them all. Yeah, it was the um, drunk corner. That game, drunk a lot of people had Jimmy Neutron winning, there was a Cosmo in there, there was a Zim, pretty much just 
all over the board on this one. This game was just varied all over the place. Nobody knew anything. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that's... It is what it is. So Squidward versus Aang... I mean, it's, will be the... it's awesome. I'm so glad we have a random five seed like Squidward, you know? So we have a two seed, a three seed, a one seed, and a five seed. So kind of chaotic in a final four that, again, with no upsets, would be entirely the one seed. So let's take a quick moment and look at when each one seed went down, right? So sure. Tommy went down against Azula into the Elite Eight. So Tommy did not advance past the Sweet 16. That was a tough corner, so that makes sense. Prince Zuko, still in it. Uh, SpongeBob just went down in the Elite Eight, did not get to the Final Four. Arnold was eliminated the earliest of all of the one seeds and lost. He didn't even make it into the Sweet 16. He only won against Mr. Blick, which is a <laughs> horribly obscure character to begin with. Yeah, it might as well have been a forfeit. Feel a little bad. Yeah. <laughs> That he didn't have a, a chance to to be a little stronger than something else there. Yeah, Arnold Arnold is definitely the, the saddest of the one seeds. Um, so it goes, so it goes. I, I was hoping too with his, with the, the movie and everything, that maybe maybe that would pull yeah. some, some people in, but alas. So yeah, we're, we're tying it up. It's, um, you know, we, we did say at some point, we're like, you know, it's, it's looking like it's pretty likely that it's a four out of four are going to be from Avatar. And then we were like, well, three out of four is still pretty likely. Only two out of four Avatar. So actually, yeah. those Avatar characters, obviously some of the smaller ones, but still, were taken down still by uh, other other shows. So we actually have no fewer shows than a week ago. Oh, that's, Is that right? Well, no, because Fairly Odd Parents got eliminated. Oh, you're right. Fairly Odd Parents. We have one but fewer show. But if you show. lump them as Butch Hartman, we're still Avatar SpongeBob Butch Hartman, which we talked about last week. Uh, but yeah, Avatar is the most representation with two, which is impressive. You know, half of the final four. Okay, so the last thing before we get on to prediction brackets, Ashley, I'm going to ask that we both do is rank in order the likelihood of each potential championship matchup, right? Do you follow? Okay. Yeah. So there would be, what, three potential matchups? Or four? There's... Yeah, four. Because, like, Danny, Aang, four, Danny, yeah. Squidward, Zuko, Aang, Zuko, Squidward. Yeah. So... So what do you think is the least likely one to happen? Danny, Squidward, I yeah, think. I agree with that. I think we can all be on board on that. <laughs> I think if we had to call it, Squidward Zuko is more likely than Danny Ang. Like, if we had to call one of those wins, right? Yes. I Wait. I would see Squidward winning over... Well, you I know what? Maybe Danny not. Phantom no, sorry. I better chance, so yes. I'm going to disagree there. No, I... I was mis misthinking my life oh, there okay, for a second. Okay. I think Danny has a better chance of winning yeah. than Squidward. Squidward's... But... What do I know about anything anymore? So you um, think, like, I think how I would rank it is Danny and Squidward last, fourth, right? Then third, most likely, Squidward, Zuko. Right. And then second, most likely, I would have to say Danny, Aang. And then most likely is Zuko, the... Aang. Yeah. Which would be great that... for branding, for everything. Like, it'd be really exciting to have it be Zuko versus Aang. We, we, there are so many, like, stills from the show we could use to market that. And I think that one will be... I think it's going to be close. I yeah, really do. Yeah, me too. Because I, I think there are different reasons to like both characters. They both go through a lot throughout the series. They're both strong characters. I could... I could see either of them, like, really either of them winning. And personally, for the chaos, I want Aang to win just because, you know, just because of the mess that it would make. Yeah. Because of all the 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 red that we would see on the predictions, and it would be it would be something. But, and honestly, I, I think those two are the two most deserving to be in the final four. Agreed, yeah. I do not think Danny Phantom or Squidward, it's just personal opinion, I do not think they are top four Nicktoon characters. <laughs> I just don't. Uh, 
But yeah, alas. I agree with that. Even with the conferences they were in, you know, like I would pick different characters, but this is how it dropped. And frankly, like, I think Danny Phantom has a better shot than we're giving him to beat Prince Zuko. Both have performed pretty strongly, even though it was closer for Danny last this past week. Uh, don't count Danny Phantom out for the championship. It could happen. It definitely could. I mean, has Danny been up against any... Well, Azula right now. Yeah, that was I close. guess I would think I would think that Azula versus Zuko, I think Zuko would win. Yeah. So I would think that Zuko should be able to beat out Danny if Danny versus Azula was so close. But I've said a lot of things that have been horribly, horribly wrong. So... <laughs> Do you want to move on to predictions with all of that, though? And we can we can hash out the, the championship more yeah, I mean, when the time comes. This week, I mean, we have our final four. It was very exciting. I think the championship episode is going to be really intense next week. Because whoever the championship is, you know, I think unless it's like Zuko Squidward, we won't have a ton to talk about there. But assuming it is Zuko Aang... It's going to be really hard to talk about that and predict, you know? Yeah, for sure. But speaking of prediction, uh, everyone's screwed but me. <laughs> uh, technically, Ray still has a slim chance. So here's the scenarios, right? Everyone is eliminated from winning except for Ray and I. So this was a brutal week. It went from 12 people could still win to two. My dad hung in there. He got the most right of the final four. He got three out of four, but he needed all four to win from past performance. So my dad is done, but he bumped from 10th to 5th, which is pretty awesome. And he does have Zuko doing well, so he is probably going to pass you, Ashley. Yeah. As will Dylan and Yesenia, most likely. Yeah. I guess technically most likely, right? We we do have to acknowledge there's a hypothetical chaotic possibility that Danny Phantom wins and Squidward wins and nobody gets any more points. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Yesenia, uh, major props for that meme you sent us. I love how meme fluent our fan base is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. Like, whenever I make the slightest hint of a meme, it seems like people are making it now. Uh, to those who didn't see it, it's a picture of Squidward at the talent show in a leotard. Uh, Cosmo's face is photoshopped over Spongebob's, and Squidward says, Stand aside, Cosmo. Uh, Yesenia captioned this, Squidward gloating after his victory over Cosmo in the round three Nick Madness games, 2018, colorized. <laughs> And I love it. it. And then with glorious. your hash, with a hashtag Friday Night Nick Loons included, which is brilliant. I also love 2018 colorized, like because it just happened, but apparently it was in black and white originally. Yes. <laughs> That's how it works. That's how it works in this Nicktoon oh, world, Casey. So you just gotta good. roll with it. So here's but, uh, okay. I have one more meme challenge because I'm trash and I can't help myself. For anyone who worst. wants to make it, Cam, Yesenia, whoever, give me. Either of these matchups create a meme involving the two characters. Best best possible one involves quotes from both, like the mayonnaise trophy hot crossover. But whatever you want to do, if it's a Photoshop thing, so either a Danny Zuko meme or a Squidward Ang meme. Both pretty tough. Yeah, well, I'm sure somebody will come up with something, though. Yeah, is this a new segment now, Casey's Meme Challenge? Oh, God. Please, no. Don't encourage him, guys. Don't encourage him too much. I love the memes, but I don't I don't love his joy, so it's, oh, it's a trade-off here. Fair enough. Well, um, you're just bitter that now I'm evening out your, uh, your trivia championships, because I will probably win Nick Madness. Yeah, I still feel like trivia, though, I mean, that's like a months and months of our lives, right? Like, this is, this is a one-month deal, Casey, and, yeah, uh, I just don't think it, I don't think it holds the same weight as all of my glorious trivia championships, but, you know, whatever makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Ashley, you may have said what? this earlier, but I'm looking at the future predicted things, and everyone who's alive has the same things. Know what no. I mean? No, and it's important that that's not the case. No, not because... everyone who's alive for first. I mean everyone who has possible correct matchups. Everyone picked the same things. 
No. Yes. There are two people that did not predict Aang to win. Where? Did I bold it wrong? Wait, what are you talking about? I'm, in the... I'm talking about moving forward, right? Are you in the document? Yeah, Ray has SpongeBob winning. Right. That's not oh, what I'm I talking about. Oh, I get what about. you're saying. All I get I'm what you're saying. saying. <laughs> Every- Any game that can be right has to be, yes, I get what you're saying. The, so, the way you said it was confusing. Okay, here's a better way to word it. With every outcome of these games, it will either be no one got it right, or everyone who has someone remaining got it right. Yes, yes. Which is I've pretty been- interesting, and shows how kind of messed up the tournament has been. Right, which is... Which is why there are still a couple of cases in which Casey does not win. Really, They're not only necessarily one. two. So if, if Zuko and Aang both lose, oh, or if just Aang loses, because Ray currently has more points than me. Yes, and Ray doesn't have Aang winning. So it doesn't actually matter hypothetically if if Zuko goes down and Aang goes down in this next upcoming game. Ray wins. Mm-hmm. Or even if Zuko wins, but Aang goes down, Ray would win. Those are the situations that Ray still has available. And those are pretty unlikely. They are. I'm just saying that you know, if we're if we're looking at Yeah, you're right. Roads to victory, right. there's two. I was only thinking of Aang getting eliminated as the thing. I mean it's it's fairly unlikely. But yeah. look, I'm just saying if Danny Phantom, if their fans are really feeling it and they pull out that win. Yeah. Then you, uh, you're, well, actually, yeah, no, then, then you still, yeah. Well, it's so there's three possibilities. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So there are multiple ways that Ray could still win. Uh, the likelihood is low, but I'm just saying right. technically there's, there's a couple of things that could potentially happen to, oh, yeah. to make one happen over the other. If we have a Zuko Aang championship, I win. Yes. Well, it's worth noting that, is... that for the short term, Yesenia is the only one who can win out. And she would bump from 7th to 3rd. Yeah. If that happens, which would be which awesome. I think it's pretty likely. Yeah, it it is. Otherwise, everyone's kind of screwed. Uh, but or, I shouldn't say everyone. Than... I'm screwed. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, let's break down these standings here. Uh, interesting thing to note is Prince Zuko is the only champion still alive with Patrick and SpongeBob eliminated. Uh, those were the only other champions still alive. So now it's just Prince Zuko. Again, if Aang, Danny, or Squidward wins it all, no one had that. In first place is still Ray with 101 points. Ray has had an excellent showing in every round of this tournament. Uh, you're getting Squidward right gains Ray a ton of like bonus points if we had those because that's awesome. <laughs> uh, Ray still has 149 points possible. Uh, in second place is the Sir Toasty, who is done, unfortunately. Toasty has 92 points, so a solid second place showing, but had Patrick and SpongeBob in the finals, so now will lose these remaining three games. Uh, in third place is me. I have 88 points, but I can... Oh, I'm sorry. Yesenia isn't the only one who can win out. I can, too. Uh, and I will be at 152 points possible. I'll have 152 points if that happens, putting me above Ray's 149. And then in fourth place is Ashley, who probably won't stay in fourth place. You have 78, uh, definitely won't, 78 points and 78 points possible. Yeah, and then we've got my dad, uh, 77 points. Probably will pop above Ashley there. Uh, my dad, the highest he could get is to fourth place. Still impressive from being in the bottom half for most of the tournament. Dylan S. is in sixth. Yesenia is in seventh. Uh, after that, everybody from eighth down, Trevor and Celeste, tied for eighth, and everyone below them, uh, cannot win any more games, unfortunately. Yeah, so those are, those are what they are at this point. Mm -hmm. Those are the standings that won't, that won't move, right? Anyone eighth place and lower. Which does mean that, and I think I think this will happen, but I think my worst case is seventh place. And, you know, I can live with that. <laughs> yeah, that's top half, you know? You know, yeah, like, that's a it's top third even. So, hey. Yeah. I can live with it. Yeah, it's no winning the entire tournament, but uh, I'm not saying I will. I'm just saying I still can, <laughs> and you can I am can't. going to 
fiercely campaign for Danny <laughs> Phantom if you keep this madness up. Go fiercely. for it. Go for it, please. I will find the Danny Phantom fan club. I'm sure there is one. Yeah. And I will find it. Message them on Twitter. Message them all individually. I won't, you know, I won't pay anyone off or anything, but I'm just saying, Casey, if you're going to get too arrogant oh, here, man. Fair enough. Ray, right. Ray can still take this victory. I do want to point out, though, that you'll win by three points. So even though we kept saying, like, oh, these early games don't matter, these early games don't matter, true. they made the difference. That's true. Uh, like not really just a with couple Ray of those because I well I guess I had to keep even with Ray but Ray knocked down all those first half games. But I'm just saying like three points if you yeah if you lost three points anywhere right that's that's a couple of easier early guesses that could have could have swung between you guys uh, between you two nobody else is really that close even impossible but that's true. between you two it's a it's a pretty tight race. Yeah well. Bring it on, Ray. We're going to have to talk smack these next two weeks a bit. So, uh, no, it's all in good fun. Ray's probably like, like, keep pissing off Ashley <laughs> so that she <laughs> makes Danny win. <laughs> so I'm saying, I'll do it. Don't, uh, don't tempt me. She's crazy. Uh, She'll do it. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm, I'm not one for skewing the results of this competition in any way. And I don't, I don't really think Danny Phantom deserves to be in the top two. So I'm not going to, not going to. But <laughs> if he wins on his own accord, then so be it, and the only thing that will make me okay with it will be that Casey loses. So, <laughs> I won't feel good about it as far as the show goes, but I'll be able to sleep at night. Amazing. Uh, that's Oh, and then the last thing is that, so we had three shows before, that or four shows before that were left in the tournament. We are now down to three. Avatar, Spongebob, Danny Phantom. We kind of already covered that, but uh, just a refresher from way the, the way back machine of all of the shows that have previously been eliminated. You'll be like, they were in the tournament? What? Fairly Odd Parents, Hey Arnold, Jimmy Neutron, Rugrats, As Told by Ginger, Korra, Invader Zim, Wild Thornberries, Angry Beavers, Rocco's, Cat Dog, Chalk Zone, Rocket Power, Doug, Teenage Robot, Cat Scratch, Ah Real Monsters, and Ren and Stimpy. In roughly the order they were eliminated, so Ren and Stimpy was one of the earliest. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot in there, so, so it goes. You know, honestly, I'm surprised that if you would have told me, hey, Ashley, one Spongebob character is making it to the final four, never in my <laughs> life would I have been like, oh, Squidward. Squidward's going to be the I one like, that, that gets yeah. there. If you did it before God. we seeded, I like genuinely might have said Larry the Lobster before Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> the chaos that our lives have become, honestly. We also had honestly, Sandy but... in the first round. There were four Spongebob characters. Yeah, which, yeah, so I think that's, I think that's about it. Um, so there's only, only two people can possibly win, Ray and some other person. And uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's where we are, so. And some other third thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, Ashley, are we... what are we going to say next week? Because we can't say it's March. Well, well, are we going to say it's, it's April, which means it's time. I kind of love that. <laughs> just do it anyways. Uh, just because that's what our lives are. You yeah. know, I, I'm not too mad about it. Yeah. We'll we'll figure it out, guys. Don't worry. All right. Well, should we head over to that conclusion? I think it's about time. Yeah. All right, guys, we don't have a Twitter poll for this week. Again, just keep voting in and retweeting those polls. We will have a two-day poll for these ones starting on Saturday the 31st. So got a little bit of time in there clearing out March with these intense games. And, you know, feel free to just vote for Danny Phantom. You know, vote with your hearts, but Danny Phantom would be great. <laughs> all right this is getting borderline abuse of power here <laughs> i will formally endorse zuko then if we're doing this i am going to encourage all my <laughs> you guys love your memes right so this is how i'd campaign for office if, like you kids like memes well uh vote me in and you'll get you'll get even more of them <laughs> oh man although danny's probably a more memeable character than zuko anyway right mm, now that you mention it you're right you're right 
Oh, Danny man. Phantom is the most memeable character of all time, I think you just said, Casey. Oh, jeez. Uh, now if you're that doesn't, me. I'm totally messing around, guys. You know what would be I, hilarious, I, Ashley, if we had more time and resources and I wasn't going to Miami, is if we created negative campaign ads about each other <laughs> <laughs> before the final four voting. Well, the funny thing is, it's not even about each other. I, I'm out of this competition. I, I don't actually, like, I have no real investment. You're just playing um, spoiler, which is investment. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> yeah, but like I don't, I'll I'll throw it out here right now. I'm 100% voting for Zuko. Um, yeah, just Will full you disclosure. you trust someone who wants Danny Phantom over Zuko but won't even vote for him? <laughs> <laughs> Ashley Wittenkeller is <laughs> with like black and white stills of you and Danny photoshopped. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. On that note. Yeah. All right, well, next week, guys, we're going to have our final four results, which is bonkers. We'll only have two characters remaining. We will preview that championship, and it will probably get pretty intense like this week got. Uh, We will, again, talk about our prediction bracket leaders. Uh, It'll be decided by then, so we won't really have any... We won't have to keep updating the prediction brackets after next week. Which I think yeah, happened sir. last year, too. I don't think the championship decided it last year, either. I don't remember anymore, but I don't I don't think so. I'm really unsure. I mean, Max um, was the Ray of last year, remember? Max was yes. dominant start to finish and then got second by, like, a couple of points. Which, speaking of which, where did... Where did... 12th. Yeah, Max didn't, so. do, didn't do so hot this year. I was say, yeah, he... Uh, Came back for revenge and instead did far worse. Yeah, so <laughs> 59 points. So, uh, but right Ugh. in the middle, roughly, oh, slightly below, like just barely in the second, the bottom half. So, uh, right. Yeah, didn't quite repeat right, right. that. And P- Patricia was on fire last year, too, those first few rounds. And then Jimmy Neutron ruined her bracket like it did all of ours. <laughs> yeah, rough way to go down, but. Life goes on. Anyways, anyways, be sure you guys to follow us on Twitter. Find those sweet, sweet polls coming up. You can also find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Apple Podcasts. And uh, we appreciate you guys always following us and keeping in touch with the memes. Yeah, it's been great. Thank you guys so much. We only got two more of these episodes. Uh, uh, how we're going to handle the winner is the winner will get a an FNN episode featuring that character so uh, oh and it's all male now i was gonna say they wow. but it's gonna be him at this point uh you so yeah sexist voters yep. you and if it's cutting Aang, out azula if it is ang and zuko i say we do an episode that involves both of them somehow uh i mean that's fairly easy to do i think very, um yeah. but yeah that's uh that's about it we're winding this down guys it's we're leaving march the real nca tournament has been all has been more nuts than ours somehow uh and this has been really fun yet again this is uh we 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 were just talking about what we should do for 2019 we have no clue what to do next so tweet us your suggestions please yeah it's uh like so we did shows we did characters yeah. what else let us let we us do. know locations eating establishments <laughs> <laughs> we got the the sugar bowl the candy bowl is that jimmy neutron versus uh the crusty crab <laughs> crusty crab all day every day yeah all right all right <laughs> <laughs> we could do food so we could do that cookbook that we made for we're in between <laughs> we we can go a number of ways, guys. All right. But if you have any better ideas, feel free to hit us with them. <laughs> <laughs> Vote for Zuko. Ashley lost. Thank you guys so much for listening, and we'll see you next time.